Hi, this is Mark Young with XLM Solutions. And today I'm going to show you some sample CATIA 3D Experience EKL scripts. These will show some very common requests made within automating and making CATIA more efficient for end users. The first one will be about having one property within CATIA drive another property. In this example, we're going to use supplier name to drive cage code. Many customers want supplier and cage code on the properties and on the drawing, but only want to fill in the information once. So by filling in the supplier name, it will automatically fill in the cage code and then both pieces of information can use, be used within the CAD data. The second one is drawing title being derived from a physical product title. Again, many customers want the drawing title name and the physical product title name to be the same. So in this case, by setting the physical product title name, it will automatically set the drawing title name. And then finally, having linked materials automatically having the material name show up as a property on the physical product. Again, many customers want to search for the data based on that material name. And by adding a material to a physical product, the uh, name can automatically show up as a property. In addition, the reverse can be done. By setting the name on a material um, on a material property within the physical product, it can automatically find and link the um, material to the CAD object. So let's show you the data. So we'll start off in CATIA. And the first thing we can talk about is the properties driving another property. So if I go into properties here, we can see I have cage code and supplier. By changing the supplier value, it automatically changes the cage code value. The second thing is having a drawing be the same as the physical product name. By insert a drawing, We can see that the drawing name matches the physical product name. And if I change the physical product name, we can see the drawing name automatically updates. So now I'm going to show you how we can pick a material, associate it to a physical product or to a CAD model, and then have that material show up as a property. So if we look at the properties, we will see that when the material blank value is blank. So I will now bring up my material browser and pick a material. and assign that material there, save the data. Now, if we look at the properties, we can see that it was automatically set as a property based on the material picked. So with that, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any more information or questions or want more information on these EKL scripts or any additional customizations within the 3D experience, please reach out to us. Our information is on the screen as shown below here.